A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of hostilities, Israel conducted airstrikes on Wednesday targeting Hezbollah's main stronghold in southern Lebanon. As tensions continue to rise following Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's dismissal of calls for a ceasefire, the airstrikes, which struck the city of Nabatea, marked a return to violence after a brief period of calm in the region. Reports indicate that the strikes resulted in the deaths of at least five individuals, including the mayor of Nabatea, as explosions sent plumes of smoke into the sky over residential areas. The Israeli military has intensified its bombardment of Hezbollah positions since late September, following ground incursions that began on September 30th. The ongoing Israel-Hezbollah conflict has already claimed the lives of at least 1,356 people in Lebanon, according to local health ministry figures, though many believe the actual death toll could be higher. This latest round of violence comes as Hezbollah has been launching low-intensity strikes against Israel since October of last year, in solidarity with its ally Hamas after the outbreak of the Gaza War. Netanyahu's recent comments to French President Emmanuel Macron emphasized his opposition to a unilateral ceasefire, arguing that it would not alter the security dynamics in Lebanon. He stated that Israel would not agree to any arrangement that fails to establish a buffer zone along its border with Lebanon, free of Hezbollah fighters. This insistence on a buffer zone highlights Israel's strategy of preventing Hezbollah from regrouping and rearming. Hezbollah's deputy leader, Naim Qassem, countered Netanyahu's stance by asserting that the only viable solution is a ceasefire, while also threatening to expand missile strikes across Israel. He remarked, Since the Israeli enemy targeted all of Lebanon, we have the right from a defensive position to target any place in Israel. This rhetoric underscores the escalating tensions between the two factions, as Hezbollah launched a barrage of rockets towards the northern Israeli city of Haifa just days prior. The U.S. has expressed concerns regarding Israel's military actions in Lebanon. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller criticized the conduct of recent airstrikes, particularly those that have impacted residential areas in Beirut. In a letter to the Israeli government, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin warned that the U.S. could reconsider arms deliveries unless humanitarian aid to Palestinians in Gaza is significantly increased. This warning comes amidst dire humanitarian conditions in Gaza, where aid has been severely restricted since the onset of the conflict. Despite the urgent need for humanitarian assistance in Gaza, UNICEF has reported that restrictions on aid have reached unprecedented levels. Spokesperson James Elder stated, We see now what is probably the worst restrictions we've seen on humanitarian aid, ever, highlighting the dire situation faced by civilians in the region. In the midst of these developments, the humanitarian crisis in Lebanon continues to deepen, with at least 690,000 people displaced due to the ongoing conflict. The war has exacerbated Lebanon's existing economic and political crises, leaving many families in precarious situations. As the conflict rages on, the international community watches closely, with ongoing diplomatic efforts to de-escalate tensions. However, with both Israel and Hezbollah firmly entrenched in their positions, the prospect for peace remains uncertain. The situation in the region is fluid, and further developments are expected as both sides continue to engage in military operations. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.